Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to talk about Chrome, about the new feature that just came out yesterday and that got people excited. Um, so I just tweeted it um, about this yesterday is the Curve Pool Optimizer, which means given a certain liquidity, and it gives you the best pool allocation that, that you can use to maximize your um, return on a monthly basis. Um, so as I said, I tweeted it yesterday and once, uh, you know, retweeted many times and like many people like this. So if you were one of these, thank you so much for spreading the voice. It's really important and I uh, really appreciate it. So let's uh, I want to show you how the way it works with a real case example. So I'm on here on unisoproi.com. I know if you are a, a curve investor, the name Uniswap is uh, Uniswap ROI is, is very Uniswap specific. Uh, I'm thinking about the rebranding that will encapsulate a little more, um, you know, different exchanges and Uniswap and Curve and Balancer and all the others. Uh, but you come here and basically what you have to do, you can analyze your address. You put your address here, click analyze, and you get a ROI tracking of all your uh, liquidity position in, uh, right now in Uniswap and Curve. Um, and uh, basically what you're going to do, if you click on your address, so for example, right here, you get into a zoom in page where basically you see your positions on Uniswap and your position in Curve. So you may, if you're a Curve investor, you may have no position in Uniswap. So for example, this address has both of them. So some in Uniswap and some in Curve. Now, what's interesting about the, the optimizer is that you're going to be uh, essentially finding these two buttons here. So one is the optimizer, one is the boost simulator. Uh, I, I'm going to put in the description a video about the boost simulator, um, which is a different different feature. You know, maybe also useful for you. But today I want to show you really the optimizer. So I click here. And uh, basically, I'm presented with an allocation optimizer. And, uh, you know, we can start using this by answering a couple of questions. First off, here at the top is how much liquidity do you want to optimize for? So, for example, you can say, oh, I want to invest um, $10,000, for example. And, and uh, so you put here 10000 Now, at each time you change these two uh, variables, one is the liquidity and the other one is, uh, you know, the CRV you can lock. Uh, as you can see, you see this loading icon. The, the reason is that, uh, you know, each time you change an input, the system will solve the nonlinear problem of optimization and will give you the best results. So let's say we want uh, $10,000, uh, invest $10,000 in Curve. And then let's say uh, we now have, uh, currently have in this address, 380 VECRV. Now, VECRV are the voting escrow CRV. This, you're probably familiar, but, but our CRV that you locked in the Curve Locker for a certain period of time and, uh, you know, by, by nature of locking them, you get VCRV, which can boost your uh, yield of the pools. And uh, But let's say we still also want to add, let's say, a thousand more uh, VCRV. So we're happy to lock uh, more, more CRV for a period of time. Uh, and then uh, basically, uh, the last thing we have to choose is whether we want to invest this liquidity in a USD uh, stablecoin pools or whether a BTC uh, stablecoin pools or across all pools. Now, let's imagine we want the USDC uh, stablecoin pools. And basically what we find here is the optimal allocation, which will maximize the um, uh, essentially the monthly income from curve. Uh, and uh, let's take a look at the, at, the, um, at the allocation table here. So first here you have the pool. Right, so for example, the Y pool, uh, the allocation suggests is 55%, uh, which is on $10,000 is $5,553. Now, with this allocation, uh, the CRV, uh, which are you know the 380 we had plus a thousand extra thousand, will give us a, a 2.5 boost, and uh, this will produce $164 a month in fees. Now, as you can see by hovering on these uh, labels, you're going to see uh, essentially you know explanation about them. But the, I want to tell you that the monthly income for, from Curve both includes the pool yield, which is the fees that you're getting by uh, providing liquidity to the pool, as well as the income from the CRV uh, that in this case is also boosted by um, the the the, uh, the locking of the CRV. And uh, you know here at the bottom of the table you see this. So the sum of the liquidity is ten thousand dollars as we said at the beginning and then the sum of the fees is four hundred and thirty five dollars per month 
on a monthly basis. Now, what you still can do, you can do a couple of things. So first off, you can say yes, but like, for example, I don't want to, you know, some pools, so you can deactivate some pools and uh, the liquidity in them will kind of be redistributed across the others. And then the other thing you can do is that say, oh, if you have, let's assume you have some special reason why you want to have more liquidity in the Y pool, you can drag these sliders and see what would be uh, your return if you were to change the allocation. Now, if theoretically, right, if the maximization is right, so any any direction you change, you move the slider, you're going to reduce the fees, right? Because the maximum uh, problem or the optimal solution is the one that was displayed. So for example, if we move this slider a little bit, you can see here the, uh, uh, the monthly income. We start from 435. If we move it, you know, one direction, the, you will see the income going down. The maximum was a 435, and again, is going down on the other direction. Uh, you know, we can again change and, and see multiple other combination, but we can be pretty certain that the maximum uh, that you can achieve was 435. And then, but if you have a you know special um, requirements or reasons why you want to invest in one pool instead of the other, you can you know from here uh, change the allocation and see you know what would be your your monthly return. So. I hope this helps. Obviously, you know, we saw the USDC. We could do the same with the BTC pools. And here would be, you know, between the Wobby BTC or a TBTC, a Synthetics, a REN, and they have different allocation. Or we can have across all pools. Now, what I want to, I plan also to add is to add a maybe a fourth button here, which is allocation only among a selected uh, sh a short list of pools you want to invest. So, for example, if you want only to invest on the white pool, the Tri pool and the RAND BTC pool, what would be the best allocation across them? So that's that's a few features that uh, users suggest me to build. Also, maybe build a you know persistent virtual portfolio. So things of that nature. So this will keep expand. But you know for now that's the way it works. I hope it's going to be helpful for you guys. Consider that. You know, the parameters of the pool in curve they change all the time. Uh, on the one side, every week the pool go the gauges weights uh, change, and also in general, like the, the size of the pool change, the volume changes uh, all the time, so on. So uh, you know, it may be a useful tool that you can use from time to time to really uh, optimize your allocation. And um, and also, I'm gonna make sure that right now these two features features are a little buried in the tool. I'm gonna make sure I'll, I'll add them, and maybe you're gonna see them also more exposed here on the home page or somewhere. So I hope this helps. As usual, if you have any comment, thoughts, questions, you can find my contacts here uh, to connect with me directly on Telegram or on Twitter if you want to follow. If you like content around uh, DeFi and specifically liquidity providing, uh, consider following the channel. That's you know, these are the topics we, uh, we cover. And until next time, have a great week, guys, and talk soon. Have a good one. Ciao.